I'm here on Canva Talk. Hi, I'm Lynn Marie Boltze with CRW Network, and I'm here with Dr. Kelly King with Relief MD. And I'm here today as a newer patient to the medical marijuana. And we're going to talk today about my situation. I have a gun permit, and I was very nervous about getting my medical marijuana card because of all the misinformation out there regarding renewing my card and holding on and keeping the card. So I'm going to turn it over to Dr. King right now so she can explain some of the misnomers that are out there about having a gun permit and having your gun card. So here's Dr. Kelly King. Hi, Lynn Marie. So, um, so Lynn Marie is here. She's been my patient. We're actually going to do a little follow-up appointment. I'll talk to you a little bit about the gun um, permit. I find that um, it is uh, a bit of a uh, tragedy that many patients like yourself are not coming to get their cards because they have been told, they've heard on Facebook, they looked up, you know, they looked it up on Google that you cannot get your medical cannabis card and have your uh, concealed carry license. And so many people aren't. I am a veteran, my husband's a veteran, um, half of my staff are veterans, and they have their concealed carry cards. I don't have my concealed carry card just by by choice and because I'm I'm a Westerner, uh, but um, but uh, half of my patient population has a concealed carry card and they have their medical cannabis cards. So it's an absolute misnomer. What they that application is number one a a, a state application. The renewal ghost is a federal application, but the concealed carry. Um, uh, laws are are for the state of Florida, and so I had an occasion to call the Department of Agriculture and ask for the uh, the the Attorney General or the representative uh, for the Department of Agriculture. He called me back. He was very very nice. And I asked him that question, hey, I have patients, and can you have a concealed carry card? And this is what he told me verbatim. He said that in the state of Florida, there's really not any laws on the books at all that say you can't have both. So they really don't have any directive one way or another. Now, he did caveat that and say, you know, that doesn't mean that's not going to happen at some point, and that doesn't mean it's go- not going to change. But right now, as it stands, there is nothing that says you cannot have your concealed carry and have a medical cannabis card. Um, they can't come and get your guns. They can't come and get your license. And furthermore, when you get your medical cannabis card, that information goes to the Department of Health. When you get your concealed carry card, that information goes to the Department of Agriculture. And those two departments don't talk. They don't, there's no crosstalk. Um, so, so there's no automatic flag that goes up when you get your card as a medical cannabis um, patient. So, you know, and then when you fill out that form um, to, the, to that federal form, they do ask you if you're doing illegal drugs. In the state of Florida, this is not illegal. Um, so, so just say no. You're not doing this illegally. So that that's the concealed carry, and I, I've I've not had anybody with 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 any issues um, and any questions. I, I do direct to our our our, our I call him my in-house attorney, Doc uh, Mr. Minardi. So that's what we do. Excellent. Mm-hmm.